I'm Tracy Baxter with today's Record News Watch. Today was the day members of the West Point Cadet Class of 2014 had been dreaming of. The class of about a thousand young men and women became newly commissioned second lieutenants during graduation ceremonies today that included a keynote address delivered by President Barack Obama. And the president told the graduates that they may be the first cadet class since September 11th not to be deployed in the Middle East. Obama used his speech at the U.S. Military Academy to defend his administration's foreign policy saying today's main terrorist threat comes from decentralized al-Qaeda affiliates and extremists. Obama also told the West Point grads that the U.S. must work with countries where terror networks seek to establish a foothold and that working with allies will expand America's reach without the use of U.S. forces. Outside the academy, about two dozen anti-drone protesters gathered. They call drone attacks illegal and they claim blowback from military action involving drones would fall into the hands of those graduating today from West Point. A former assistant manager at an area bank has been sentenced uh, to a prison term of one to three years for stealing about $130,000 from the bank's ATM funds. 57-year-old Deborah Marcarelli had uh, pleaded guilty to felony grand larceny for stealing the money from the J.P. Morgan Chase bank branch in Tuxedo. Her job included auditing and maintaining the ATM. She admitted to stealing the money in increments of about $2,000 between 2011 and 2013. A shooting last Friday in the Sullivan County town of Highland left one man in critical condition. State police say it happened during a dispute between two men at a residence on Airport Road in Ulan. Responding officers found two men with wounds from a shotgun blast. One was rushed to a regional trauma center with a chest wound. The other unidentified man was shot in the lower leg. The investigation is continuing. Their goal? To build two houses in just five days. Those affiliated with Habitat for Humanity of Greater Newburgh have done it before and they're prepared to uh, do it again. Officials gathered today to announce the schedule for their latest Home Builders Blitz. During the week of June 9th, Habitat volunteers in partnership with the Hudson Valley Builders and Remodelers Association and with help from local contractors and suppliers will build two homes at 26 and 28 East Parmenter Street. That'll uh, put the finishing touches on Habitat's revitalization of that once blighted Newburgh neighborhood. This is a particularly special Builders Blitz that will happen June 9th through the 13th because on June 14th we're going to be celebrating that miraculous activity but also our 74th and 75th house is Habitat Newburgh and the completion of our East Parmenter Street neighborhood. So um, the excitement is building. We will be starting in 10 days um, and it's, it's just a miraculous thing that, that happened. The newly built houses uh, will become home for the Spearman and Martinez families and the Newburgh Habitat organization has its sights set on another major goal, completing their 100th house by the end of 2016. In Matamoros, police are looking for a suspect following an armed carjacking that uh, happened Sunday night. The victim had stopped her car at a pedestrian crosswalk on Pennsylvania Avenue when a man opened her passenger door, pointed a gun at her, demanded she drive toward the Delaware River Bank. Once there, he stole a credit card, punched her in the face, and ran off. Elsewhere, a Monticello man has been charged with the felonies of grand larceny, burglary, and criminal mischief. Police say 22-year-old Daquan Smith broke into the Monticello liquor store on Pleasant Street through a window early last Friday morning and stole more than $1,500 worth of liquor. Police say he had help. More arrests are expected. And the folks at the walkway over the Hudson are at it again. On Sunday, beginning at 10 a.m., they will be attempting to break another Guinness World Record. This time, they're enlisting people to help them break the record for the world's longest handshake relay. Handshake across the Hudson will be the third annual world event uh, fundraising event that uh, will raise money for the walkway over the Hudson State Historic Park. A lot of handshakers will be needed. Last year, uh, 1,238 Boy Scouts from England banded together to set the world record.
Some better weather is in the forecast for tomorrow. Thursday will be partly sunny with the highs in the upper 60s. Not as nice Friday. It'll be uh, mostly cloudy with a chance of showers. Temperatures Friday are expected to reach the middle 70s. Well, stay informed by starting your day with the Times Herald Record and stay connected to breaking news throughout the day right here at Record Online. For Record News Watch, I'm Tracy Baxter.